Hi again everybody, good to see you all. We've made it through another week and exciting news that this week that we can start getting back to normal a little bit more next week. Those of you who haven't started school already, which I think is a lot of us, um, next week most of us are off to school. That actually means for us that it's our last video that we're going to make for you because my kids are going to be off to school and I really can't do it without their help. They've been amazing. So we've got one more Bible story to share with you and it's another parable that Jesus told, a story that he told to help teach us about something important. So let me introduce to you the wise men, the wise man and the foolish man. So in this story Jesus told about two men who decided to build a house each. And one of them found this nice little spot on the sand and he thought, yeah, that looks like a nice place to build a house. Nice view, good spot, awesome. I think I'll build here. And so he wasn't too fussy, didn't worry too much if it didn't add it up. He just thought, yeah, if I get it finished nice and quick, then I can go and relax on the beach. So once it was done, he did just that. He went and sat down and admired his handiwork. Meanwhile, the other person was building their house. So this guy lent him their tools and this guy thought, oh, there's a nice big rock. That's a good spot to build a house. I think I'll build my house over there. So he got busy and borrowed the tools off the other guy and made himself a really nice sturdy house on the rock. It took a lot longer because he had to drill into the rock to make it stable and he had to measure everything up and make sure that it was just right. He didn't get to sit in the sand and enjoy the beach weather um, while the other guy was, but he was doing a really good job of his house. And eventually it would be finished and he would be able to move in. Now, while these guys were busy building their houses, something else was going on up in the sky. Something was happening to the weather and the sunshine was going away and a storm was brewing. And the storm was going to do something to their houses because there was a lot of rain and there was a lot of wind and the seas got really high. And so the poor guy whose house was on the sand what happened? What's going to happen to our house on the sand when we pour lots of water onto it? All the seas came up and the rains came down. Oh dear! House looks a bit sad, doesn't it? His house wasn't looking very good anymore. Half the roof had caved in. And all of a sudden, it didn't look like that was such a good idea, such a good place to build his house. Meanwhile, over at the rock, the same storm was raging. The same thing was happening. The same water was pouring everywhere. But let's see what happens when we put a whole lot of water on our and we'll just move our tools on our house on the rock. It stood firm. The house on the rock stood firm and it didn't break. And the guy who built his house on the rock was a very, very happy guy. He had somewhere warm and dry to stay that night, unlike the guy whose house was on the sand. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. Jesus was not just talking about building our, our houses on rocks or sand, although it is a better idea to build your house on the rocks than on the sand. He was also talking about how we build our lives. And he said that we're far better to build our lives on him as a firm foundation than we are to build our lives on things that might not be so trustworthy. Things like money or friends or talents, things like that, that we might think we can trust that sometimes might not go go the right way so we can trust in Jesus and know that he has the best idea, the best way to live our lives and things will go much better for us if we choose to follow him and his example. Right, we're going to teach you a song now and it is called The Wise Man and the Foolish Man. So it goes along with our story, you might know it and you can join in and sing if you do. Right. The wise man built his house upon the rock The wise man built his house upon the rock The wise man built his house upon the rock And the rains came tumbling down 
The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. But what about the other guy? The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. Rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand went crash. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord. Okay, right, the blessings may not always be the things that we really, really want. Sometimes things in life might not go real well, but blessings might be things like being able to be thankful, whatever happens. Things like the good feeling we get from doing things for others and knowing how happy it makes them feel. Things like that. Jesus knows what he's doing when he asks us to follow his example. So that I hope, I hope we can all do that. We can choose to build our lives on Jesus, not on some of the other things that surround our lives. All right, that's all we have for you now. So thanks for um, watching these with us. Our families really enjoyed making them. And yeah, all the best as you start back at school or kindy or preschool if that's what you're doing this coming week. And yeah, hopefully it won't be too long till we can see each other at church again. Um, in the meantime, keep safe and we'll see you next time. Bye.